Good morning, everybody. Sorry for the delay. We're going to give it a second to make sure that everybody can get on or knows that we're Good here. Good morning, everybody. Ugh. Sorry for the delay. Give it a second to make sure that everybody can get on or knows. I woke up and my sinuses are not happy. I can tell you that right now. I don't get it. But you think after um, so many years here that I'd get used to the allergies, and guess what? I'm not. So my head and my sinus is a not a happy camper today. That's why I'm a little bit slow. All right. We've got block 23 and 24 today, and this is week 12. So we are getting there. I'm going to switch this over and I haven't gotten any of these pre-sewed this week because like I said, I'm going real slow today. So we're going to switch the camera and get moving. I don't know. I'm sh I've heard it from other people too that allergies this year are just not nice okay what am i doing here i'm missing something they really aren't fun at all i don't know why they're so much worse this year but they really are not happy all right hopefully you can see that block it's actually four small sets like this. So we're gonna put them together, the two, these two pieces at a time and just chain piece like I like to do. Yesterday was a crazy day. I can't believe how much deliveries I've got yesterday. It was like, one right after another. First, it was the mailman, dropped off a couple of small packages, then it was UPS, and then FedEx. It was just like Delivery City. I'm using, even though it's not a ton of tiny, tiny pieces, I'm still using a scant quarter of an inch with this seams. I'm telling you, sometimes trying to figure out the right and wrong side is not easy. On white on whites. Good morning. Hopefully you had a great Easter, Kathy. I got to sit there for about, I don't know, two hours, I would say, on the Facebook portal, watching Little Miss Aurora ride around this big giant yard in her Jeep running circles. Every once in a while going by the camera going, hi. <laughs> that was the extent of my Easter. She was all dressed up to play in the yard. But hey, you know, that's the times that we live in lately. She is just cracks me up. And the reason I posted the picture of her little pigtails all with the buns undone is, you know, I'm old. Maybe not as old as some of you, but I can't remember the name of the show that we used to watch with the French butler and the little girl and boy, brother and sister. What is it? Family affair? Well, looking at her back pigtails, that's what that reminded me of. 
it reminded me of that show with all because normally her hair is very very straight like straight straight I know, Kathy, I miss, you know, I miss seeing the babies. I miss being able to do things like normal. Don't get me wrong. I understand the science and I know the precautions having, you know, an elderly parent with health issues at home. And, but I really did miss my babies. I miss them a lot. I mean, I haven't gone to a restaurant. Do you realize I haven't gone to a restaurant in a year? Over a year? And I used to be at the restaurant once a week with my daddy. And I don't do that. I don't do nothing. I come to the shop. I got to meet a friend of mine that I haven't seen in since last year. But we met here. And we brought lunch in. And I still, still wore a mask just because... I have heard too many stories, I mean, of customers getting pretty sick, even with the vaccine, getting a different strain of the virus. And I just can't, I don't want to see anybody, whether it's a friend or a customer, um, you know, get sick, knowing that we're this close to the end of this whole ordeal. But. I do miss the babies a lot. I miss not being able to do things that I like to do. All right, let's go because pretty soon they are gonna be knocking on the door as usual. So uh, now all we have to do is sew these pieces together and put the four blocks together and we will be done. It was definitely weird though. I mean, she cracked me up. She was running around. They have a pretty large yard, like, I mean, big yard. And little Miss Aurora has received monkey bars, and she's got a swing set now, and she's got a Jeep now. So her yard is kind of like the go-to place, and all the kids were just having a ball. What is going on? Mm -hmm. But they all the kids had a lot of fun. You could just see them running around. The fun thing about the portal is it's not like having to um, follow them around with a, a phone or a camera. The portal will follow the children around. It zooms in on their face. But with her running around like crazy and in the Jeep, it, it put the portal to the test, I can tell you that. And uh, the new Jeep she got is actually remote controlled. She's not coordinated enough yet to actually steer the Jeep herself. So it's kind of like um, an adult sized RC car. So daddy was remote controlling her around the yard. It was actually quite funny. And it's got Bluetooth, so she's playing music in the Jeep as it's coming around and around. It, it was actually quite funny. It had me laughing. Oh, what we do. We've got so much going on. It's hard to keep up. I was here till, I don't know, nine o'clock last night and just trying to organize my brain and get a few things, paperwork done. But I get to play musical bolts today. There's a lot of new fabric. And I'm going to have to, with the Sonic, my son in law and my grandbaby like Sana. So, you know, some of that's going in my stash until I can figure out what I'm going to make them.
We had so many boxes. I mean, 10 boxes, not huge boxes yesterday, but a lot of little boxes that I was trying to go through. It was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hmm. Something skittered. Okay. Almost done. Um, slow today. And I apologize. There we go. Ready to put this one together. So now we're just going to put the rows together and then put the two rows. So those together. And there's no matching seams except when we put the two rows together. If that makes sense, I'll show you. Ay, 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 ay. Mm -hmm. All right, this is gonna go, yes. No, sorry. Sometimes you don't always get the seam the right way. And it's hard to tell on these neutral fabrics, but this cream fabric is the one that I'm kind of considering darker. So I am ironing towards that seam. And as long as you do that, this seam is going that way, this seam is going this way. So when we put them up, we can nest the seams easily. That's the only matching seam, which is in the center. And then once this one's done, we'll do the next block. In the, by using a scant quarter of an inch, we may have to square up the block just a little bit, but I'd rather that then not have it big enough. Before I get to the pin, I stop with my needle down in the seam and then take the pin out. There we go. This one is done. All I gotta do is iron it and trim it up. Okay, next. Let's see, let's make sure I got this right. There we go. Normally, I would have some of this stitched already just to make it a little bit easier and faster, but like I said, I was a little late. So we've got this that we're putting together basically in three rows, three sections. So what I'm going to do is put all these little tiny blocks together first. And I'm definitely using a scant quarter of an inch.
Oh, I'm scheduled for my second shot this month, which I'll be happy about. A little leery about the side effects I keep hearing about. I'm hoping I don't have too much. But we'll see. What else is going on? Anybody got anything exciting or fun that they're doing? Remember, I'm living vicariously through you. Because I don't get to do a lot of sewing or anything good. I love it when people bring in their completed projects. Like Holly did yesterday. Didn't she do such a great job? I already have my fabric cut from the Tula Pink color, uh, color, uh, line works. Not sure when I'm going to get to it, but I got my kit. And I can't wait to show you for the, uh, well, not to show you because I showed you last night in the email. I can't wait for those new applique patterns to come in. Yes, it's going to be a lot of work, but they are cool, especially octopus garden and one that i didn't put in the email last night is old time santa claus which is a cute wall hanging really cute i like them i think they're gonna be fun that's gonna be i think we're gonna do a little class on that um for the applique part if not a class at least some demos because the designer has some great ideas on non-traditional applique or things that you can use in applique, kind of on the art cult side that I like. I think it's going to be a fun project. Not saying it's something that I'm going to do in a full class because there's a lot of work there, but I might. Um, be talked into doing some demos a little bit here or there just to show you how I do it. I actually like, yes, I have the embroidery machine, but I actually like doing applique and using decorative stitches on your machine and doing a little bit of thread painting in there. And Kathy knows what I'm talking about because Kathy did a great project on uh, undersea version that was really cool with a lot of non-traditional quilting type of parts and pieces, you know, threads and yarn and all kinds of stuff, lace. And so I'm kind of really looking forward to doing something like that. Maybe I won't get it done as fast as most people will, but if I do it a little bit at a time and kind of work it into a demo, then it gives me a reason to work on it. I can say I'm doing it for the business. What do you think, Kathy? I think it's a good idea, but I thought it was really cool. Okay, now I'm gonna do these two together and I'm working in just in rows. I think it's gonna be, it's, listen, I gotta try and do stuff here and there any chance I get because I really, I don't have a machine at home. I don't have time for anything by the time I get home. Good morning, Fran. I am just like comatose and all I want to do is go to bed. I have enough time to get, you know, my nightly routine done, getting my clothing ready for the next day. And that's about it. It's bedtime. Because it's just the life I live. So if I have a chance to work on a project that I really like and make it some demos, I think that's a win-win. What's the weather like, Fran, up in New England? Still cold? Do you 
Almost done. And I can open up the door before anybody else comes in. All right, let's see how quickly we can get this done. So. There we go. All right. Now we're just going to put these together in rows. And we'll be done. Not going to be a lot of matching scenes in this block at all, if any. I don't think there's any because we've got the big piece here in the center. So is it just straight? Hola. So first top row, the middle row, and then we're working on the third one, and then this block will be done. Now let's put these rows together and we are done for this week. Oh, let me know if um, the email that I sent out for the April newsletter. I'm hearing from a couple of people that they did not receive it until this week so they didn't get it last week give me a heads up because i'm um, just kind of curious if you received the sale information on time or not and anybody who's on facebook who may not necessarily be local and want to be part of the newsletter or get received the newsletter all you got to do is send me a message with your email and i will make sure you receive it 
I try not to inundate your email with a lot of junk because I don't like it when that happens to me. So I try to send out a newsletter once a month. And then if like last night when I received a huge shipment of stuff, I try to combine it all into one email as much as possible. But with the way things are shipping right now, it's kind of crazy. And there's no guarantees on when things are coming in or if they're gonna come, they don't come in on time. Here we go. We're just gonna put this last row on and we're done. And you can always, always unsubscribe if you don't like what I'm sending you, not a problem. But because I ship all over the place and have a website, um, the sales that we have inside the store kind of uh, like the so steady tables that spring sales that came up, which was something new that I found. Um, you can get that sale price, whether you're here or online. And I do drop ship anywhere. Especially something like that, we can drop ship that no problem. All right, there we go. Now it's just gotta be squared up to clean it up. So we've got block 23 and block 24. If you have any questions at all, by any means, just message me or email me and I will happily help you out. And I promise, well, I can't promise anything because these allergies have been kicking my butt for weeks now, but hopefully next week I will be a little bit better and not late. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.